Hi, I am so happy to tell you that it is almost 70 degrees outside. This is the first time we've had it this warm in the longest time. I just ran a bunch of errands and went to the post office and stuff, and I went without a coat or a jacket. It was amazing. I just have on like workout stuff. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> So happy about that. I'm just thrilled. So I'm thinking of going outside out back to try to um, Figure out what to do with all of uh, my yard this spring. So let's head back there and see what we see Okay, this is what we got going on I hear birds. There's a blue sky. Oh my gosh, spring might actually be here. This is amazing. These are the table and chairs that normally we scoot out here to have. But we kind of have them that way for the winter. These are those steps that we never see because they're always covered with pumpkins. Claire, of course, is gonna plant her pumpkins here again this year, and they go all the way over there onto the bushes, and they come this way and down all over the steps. But so we really only get to use these in the spring until the pumpkins take over. But there's that group of steps, and then I'm gonna plant tomatoes and some herbs, which I always do in this little tiny section here. And then these are the steps we normally use. How fun. It's so nice out here. But I have a lot of work to do. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I just have so much to kind of clean out and I really need to clean out that birdhouse. But things are popping up. How exciting. Oh, I've got all these pots I have to deal with and all these leaves I have to get rid of. Oh my. Things are popping up. I really want to take these stones out and then re get them replaced in there nicely because they're starting to get all wonky. It just sort of delineates where the yard is compared to the woods, sort of. So I try to keep this more manicured, sort of. <laughs> Got to clean out that whole area, clean off and uncover the hot tub. So much to do. That deck, I really want to do something with and I need your opinions on that one. So. I'm gonna have to figure that out too. So yeah, I'm so excited. It's so, so nice out here. I wanna just like start cleaning and doing stuff. Maybe I will. I don't even know why those pots are still there. They just, I don't know. They must have been filled with something wonderful and then I just set them there and that's where they stayed all winter. This vine needs to be cut back a little bit, but it looks it lives every single year. So yeah, I got a lot of leaves to clean out under there. All this stuff. Let's walk this way. I'm thinking about putting some sort of a seating area kind of a thing here. It's just usually filled with all these hostas that have just taken over my life, so we'll see. This path needs to be uncovered every single year. It just kind of grows back and then we have to uncover it. And then this is where the power washer comes in. We power wash this patio thing all the time, every single spring. And it looks brand new when we're done, but it gets all this kind of look to it. And then around here I think I need to somehow get this bench to not be so crooked not that anyone ever uses it but still These are all in good shape, so at least I don't have to do anything with this walkway. Clean out some of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, this really needs some work. This wall thing. I got this new um, Hawaii tumbler from Starbucks. Um, I ordered it on Amazon, I think it was. 
um, because I wasn't in Hawaii when this one was out. <laughs> but I love it. I absolutely love these tumblers for coffee. It's like fun to kind of get one from wherever I go or from people and then I think of them every time I use it and um, my sister gave me one from San Diego and it's just so much fun. I love these. It's like almost a collection now. It's kind of crazy. Okay, look what I got. I got this lovely, lovely lady recently. I just couldn't resist. I just sort of feel like... And I, I got the one without the bandolier. It's a Speedy 30. And the Dami Azure. I don't have... This is my very first Azure bag. Um, I've had a couple other Azure pieces, but not a bag. I have wanted this probably for 10 years, but just never, never purchased it. And I don't really care for the bandolier. When I had a Monogram 30 bandolier that I just did not like, I sold it. Um, but I really like the... Uh, just a regular handheld. Like I say, I'm a handheld gal. I love these kind of bags. So I did get this and I'm excited. I'm excited to use it. It's getting summery enough that maybe I can on days it doesn't rain. So yeah, I did get this. Whoop. I'm excited about it. I love that it has the tan interior. So many now um, of the newer Azure bags have um, pink inside. Like I saw the new Lymington. I'll try to throw, show you a picture here. I fell in love with it in the Azura print, but then I saw the inside is that light baby pink and no, I don't like that. I wish it came in a choice at least. Um, I prefer the tan. So uh, grab this. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm excited though because I, like I say, I wanted it forever, just never quite did it and I should have purchased it when I first thought I liked it because it was only like $500 then. But um, yeah. Okay, this is another thing I recently got, and I don't know whether it's something that you guys would be interested at all in seeing how it works. I mean, I would tell you about it for sure, but it's the, the Hanicure, the um, all-in-one facial. Okay, I have two of them. I thought I'd give a try, and um, I don't know. Would you be interested at all in seeing how that works for me or not? Because, I mean, there's tons of videos already on that, and I don't know what that would look like, so... Um, but yeah, I'm willing to at least, I'll definitely try it and tell you what I think for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know about the putting it on there. So we'll see. Let me know what you think. <laughs> okay, here's the deck thing I was talking about. There's my pillows, by the way, that I showed. But this deck between the family room and the kitchen area, it's just kind of an enclosed area. And we've tried putting different things out here before. Um, I don't know, it's just, it, it's a weird shape. <laughs> I'd like to maybe put like an L-shaped, kind of like a sofa, kind of a you know outdoor thing with a table. I thought about that. We have had a table here before like for eating, but to go all the way from the kitchen and around and through the family room and all the stuff to bring it in here is just kind of not conducive to much fun. And anyway, we have the other table over there that when we eat outside, so I'm not sure what to do with this space. I thought maybe even getting an outdoor rug and then like, you know, that sitting area, not sure. But then when it's really hot, you kind of want to be out in this section where you get the breeze. So not sure. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So I want to do something with it. I hate just having it do nothing, you know? That just seems wrong. Let me see the horsies. Where's lovely? Well, there he is. There's lovely. I don't see much green popping out yet on the trees, but it will happen eventually, and I'm really excited about it. Here's where I put my mushroom. This little group. So is it finally turning spring where you are? Um, I'm so excited I can't even stand myself. 
I have someone coming over today to, to do some stuff on the house, so I can't really get out there and do anything, but um, one of my daughters uh, has the day off and she is taking a, doing like a hike thing with friends at Starved Rock. I don't know if you've ever been to Starved Rock if you live in this area, but it's the most beautiful area ever for hiking and so forth. Um, I'll try to see if I can throw in some shots or whatever of what it looks like. So she's spending the day there since it's like the first nice wonderful day. Some of her friends took the day off um, and they're all going down there to hike around for a little bit, which will be a great time. I need to get myself down there. It's been a few years since I've been there. Um, this would be the perfect day for it though. It might be a little muddy, but um, I think it'll be okay. So that's what she's doing. And I want to get out there and walk too as soon as the people are finished with doing the things that they're doing for the house. Um, got a lot of projects that we're in the middle of kind of right now. Not really in the middle of, we're starting and we can't really decide which one's coming first. Um, I've got a whole laundry room painting project and thing and I need to find a new washer and dryer because we've tried and tried to get that thing, those to work better and so forth, but they're just not. So I think we're going to bite the bullet and buy a new set so that that's happening. And then I want to paint the cabinets and the walls in the trim in that room. So that's going to be happening sometime. Um, it seems like I've been trying to work on that project for a long time and nothing's really happening on it, but we have finally decided what we're going to do, I think. So <laughs> maybe that will start happening. And then, um, we really need to gut and completely redo the guest room bathroom shower and everything and the one that's it's the Jack and Jill kind of between my two daughters rooms. Um, we just really need to get that completely rehauled. So I need to start shopping for um, bathroom stuff. So that's going to happen. And then after all that is done, I also want to have this area of we have a finished basement. It's really large. And in one area we have like a home theater sort of a thing with a giant TV thing and so forth. Um, and I, right now I have exercise equipment kind of behind the sofa so to watch, be able to watch while exercising, which isn't bad, but it's not the most beautiful thing. And then we have this bar area with this large, large bar and the shelving, the shelving behind it. And I mean, gosh, it's this huge area, which is really nice. It came with the house, whatever. We never, ever use it. We just don't have giant parties where we bring people downstairs and use the bar so if people are over here we're usually upstairs i don't know whatever um it's next to the pool table down there and all that kind of thing but we don't really use it at all it just sort of takes up space it's whatever so i want to just gut that whole area and turn it into like a, a workout space um so that's another plan i'm trying to float by and see if we can uh, get that one to uh to work out so lots and lots of stuff that i'd like to have happen in the next little bit so depending on what happens first of course i will you know bring you along for all of that stuff and then once all that is complete i'm going to finally work on redoing our major you know the main bathroom our master bathroom so there's that too so a lot of different kind of home things we've been in the house it'll be five years in july and many of these projects are things we really wanted to wait, live here for a while, see how we felt, you know, live with things for a while first before changing. But the time has come and I did the painting in the couple of the rooms that were bothering me. And now it's time to, uh, to do the other things. So we're going to be going to a lot of home show type home, you know, showroom. What am I trying to say? You know, places that sell bathroom fixtures and stuff like that. So I'll probably be taking you with me. And I got a shop for a washer and dryer and possibly new dishwasher because that's also fritzing out on us. So, uh, yeah, all that stuff's happening and I'm so happy to take you with me. So is it getting warmer for you wherever you are, unless you're in the southern hemisphere? Yeah, I'm so excited about it. It's been like the longest heading to spring kind of a thing I don't think I ever, ever, ever remember. But yeah, got some new workouts, some new shoes. Like them? <laughs> you like my new shoes? <laughs> I got these when I was in Indianapolis. Just, uh... oh yeah. Um, I don't know if you know. If you follow me on, or if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know this, but here's my Instagram thingy, so you can follow me if you want to and know what I'm up to. But um, I was gone for the last four or five days with my husband. We took the Tesla to um, my parents' house and then went to Indianapolis for a few work-related things that he had to do and then drove home. And it was our first like road trip in the Tesla where we had to like find a supercharger halfway or whatever, stop, supercharge, that kind of thing. So we'd never done that before. Generally, he just uses it as his commuter car to, to and from his office. Um, but yeah, this is the first like trip we took in it to see how it would go and it was nice. We stopped in Indiana at this one place that's super to supercharge it and we just went to a coffee shop and just sat 
sat and had coffee for about, I don't know, 25 minutes and the thing was just charged right up. And it's free to do that, which is wonderful. So we uh, charged it, went the rest of the way, and there was a place in Indianapolis too, so that worked out well. And then we stopped in Lafayette to um, Indiana on the way home, on the way back through, and supercharged again at that same place and stayed at the same coffee shop. And it just kind of made a nice relaxing trip, so it was fun. So that worked out really well for us. So I can imagine taking a longer trip, um, as long as you know where your superchargers are and so forth, it really, it really worked out well. That's what's happened in the last few days. So this was just a really quick little run around my house and tell you a few things that have been happening and so forth kind of vlog, but I really appreciate you joining me and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about some of my questions about the deck and so forth. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on those things. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye.